Phase 1, initial clinical trials to establish safety. The new drug is tested under close medical surveillance in a small number of healthy volunteers to determine its safety and tolerability. These initial studies also provide information about how the new drug behaves in the human body. Phase 2. Clinical trials to establish efficacy. In this phase, the new drug is tested for the first time in patients to determine its effectiveness. Phase 2 trials are also known as proof-of-concept studies. These trials generate information on the optimal dose, dosing schedule, and route of administration. As many as 500 patients may participate in a Phase 2 trial. Phase 3 – Clinical Trials to Establish Clinical Benefit In Phase 3, the new drug is tested at a defined dose in large numbers of patients, usually at clinical trial centers around the world. It's often difficult to find patients who fill all the inclusion criteria and are willing to participate. The aim is to demonstrate that the new drug is more effective than the best currently available treatment. To ensure maximum objectivity, these trials are usually double-blinded. This means that neither the patients nor their treating physicians know which patients are receiving the new drug and which patients are receiving standard care or a placebo. Up to 5,000 patients may need to be enrolled in a Phase 3 trial to obtain statistically relevant results. These trials take several years to complete and are extremely costly. The results of our Phase 2 and Phase 3 clinical trials are published on the Internet and reported in medical journals, at medical congresses, and internally to Roche employees. While trials are in progress, preparations are made to launch the product and manufacture it on a commercial scale. Step 6. Regulatory Approval and Launch Medicines cannot be sold in a country without approval. The authorities will demand to see all the relevant documentation, including data from all the trials and experiments conducted with the drug. In most cases, the documents supporting a new drug application would fill hundreds of binders if they were all printed out. The regulatory review process for a particular country may take months or years. If the outcome is positive, the drug can be sold in the country concerned. The leaflet supplied with each package of medicine summarizes the important knowledge gained about the medicine during the various stages of its development. In a sense, the package leaflet is a distillation of the entire research and development process. The information it contains is important, both for health professionals and for their patients. Phase 4. Post-Marketing Studies and Surveillance even after a medicine has been released onto the market, its use will be closely monitored. Reports of adverse events are recorded in central registries. During this phase, the drug makers often conduct additional smaller-scale clinical trials to obtain further information 